Good morning, everyone. This is Rahul Varshne with Occupy McAllen TV. It is Monday, November 7th, uh, 2011, and I uh, had a great weekend here with my son, actually. Uh, we did some chalking, practicing how to spell some different words. Anyhow, um, I wanted to share my thoughts on the 2012 presidential election and fiat currency. Fiat means, for lack of a better uh, explanation, a uh, magic wand. It's like a magic wand. It just means that at the whim of uh, whoever's in power, more money can be printed. Uh, more money can be just generated. <clears throat> this basically means that the U.S. government, our government, um, and this policy has been in place, I think, since the 1970s. It's existed before, it's gone away, then it's come back. Um, an alternative to a fiat currency, for example, would be what's called the gold standard, which means that you cannot make money unless you have the gold to back it up. And this has been a system that's been in place for thousands of years, but uh, we've had certain government elites that think that they know better than us, that think that they can just make money up you know, print money at their whim, and they know the magic program that's going to fix everything and make society better. It's a lot of garbage. Um, I think of fiat currency kind of like the ring of power in, in Lord of the Rings, where, you know, even Frodo, um, whose job it was to destroy the ring, when he put that ring on, he felt corrupted by it, he was corrupted by it, um, that darkness would reside within him. So, I don't, I don't care really who gets elected, but if they think that a fiat currency is a, is a viable um, um, policy, then they're just perpetuating um, the established system, which I believe to be corrupt. Um, <clears throat> so, if you are a Democrat, if you are a Democrat, Democrat this, this video really goes out to you. Because in 2012, you have two options. It's going to be Obama versus the establishment Republican candidates. That's Romney, Perry, Bachman, etc. Um, and that debate is going to be... The 2012 election will then be about whether we should go to war with Iran, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous concept. Um, Ron Paul is fervently anti-war because um, he knows that these wars are bogus and have been bogus for a while. Um, Okay, so, so as a Democrat, then you, you face Obama versus the establishment Republican candidates, and the 2012 election is about war, or you can help Ron Paul win the Republican nomination. Uh, there's open primaries in Texas in March, and apparently anyone can vote for Ron Paul, that's my understanding, and in doing so, um, imagine that Ron Paul has secured the Republican nomination. Now you have a publicly anti-war candidate. Ron Paul has been basically anti-war, anti-foreign intervention since he's been around 30 years, I think, in public office. So that would put the debate right square and center about the trillions of dollars that have been spent overseas. Um, and I think that would elevate the debate. That would make 2012 about, about uh, the future, uh, a hopeful future, a positive future. Uh, a future where our kids don't have to, as parents, we don't have to worry about where our kids are going to school, what's on TV, what are they eating, you know, all this kind of, uh, this polluted environment that we find ourselves uh, as parents raising our kids in, I think um, is largely in due to the, you know, the pollution on TV, right? These just, this, you know, you see these, these establishment candidates and it's just all hot air. Um, and I really want to emphasize that, that they talk a big game. Oh, I'm going to cut this spending. I'm going to cut that government waste. But the reality is they, they don't talk about the anchor on government waste. What is the anchor? The anchor is something like a gold standard. It's something like um, f making, making the government, um, forcing the government to, to link their currency to something that they can't just print money endlessly. Right, I think that's the main point here, is the government has a blank check to just do what they want with it. So, um, you know, uh, I'll like to conclude this real quick. To the Tea Party, to the Tea Party, Tea Party McAllen, Ron Paul is the only true conservative um, that's willing to anchor the spending. The others are just lying to you. 
they're straight up lying. To believe otherwise, I think, is, is to be naive. Um, and I'd like to know why you think that the other candidates who don't, they have nothing against the fiat currency. They're not talking about the gold standard. So I'd, I'd like to know from you why Perry, Romney, etc., wouldn't just continue spending on these wars and whatever else they want to spend on that the lobbyists have um, bought them to do. So, um, on that note, um, what's the last thing? What's the last thing? Still reading this. Um, and I think Ron Paul's point is that uh, for this gold standard, for this, this idea that the fiat currency, that the Fed needs to end in its current form, um, it's up to us, uh, those that, that see it, see the vision, to share this vision with the majority and organize and educate people around it in hopes that it, it, it may become a reality and we can fix the system. Peace out.